That's, that's remarkable. Okay, let, let's talk about your other precious cargo. Of course, passengers. Uh, mm -hmm. United tested out a, a sort of a health pass uh, earlier this year for international flights, a common pass, uh, re requiring people to show a negative test. I wonder, will this become a new norm, including domestically, having to show a negative test, perhaps even at some point having been vaccinated? Yeah, look, there's a lot to still be determined. But United was the first airline to start with testing to Hawaii. And then we worked with Common Pass. We started a Newark uh, to London Heathrow test. We now test uh, uh, test alternatives for 10 destinations in Latin America. What we think is that getting through the next year, at least, uh, is going to require a combination of tests, perhaps antibody, proof that you have antibodies or vaccines. And so being prepared to support all of that and the complication of it's likely, uh, unfortunately, to be different country by country, uh, and to try to make it easy so that if customers go to united.com or to our app uh, they can, and know where they want to go, they can quickly and easily uh, find out whether they need a test to vaccination, because it's going to be an evolving set of requirements as we move forward. So we're trying to prepare for that flexibility. Wow, interesting. So, so it could reach a point where myself, my family, folks watching, they would have to show a negative test to board a flight. Uh, it's certainly possible. Well, that's mm -hmm. true in some locations today. So Already, going to yeah. Hawaii, for example, you have to either have a negative test or quarantine for 14 days. So if you want to take your family on vacation, effectively, you need to get a negative test. And what we're trying to do is make that easy for customers. So at San Francisco, for example, you can get a test there. Know that you're OK to get into Hawaii. Yeah. Okay, let's talk uh, stimulus funding. Uh, 